Welcome back, everybody, to the podcast. This is another Monday Musing with me, yours truly, Jeff Bajoric. Today, I want to talk to you about a sales lesson I learned from an arrogant bastard. Now, that's not a very nice thing to call somebody. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that I've been called worse, but I don't think I liked it. But I'm not talking about a person. I'm actually talking about a beer. One of my favorite beers, actually. And if any of you follow me on Instagram, at Jeff Bajoric, you may know that I was out in San Diego recently on a little family getaway for the weekend. And uh, my family and I, we went and ate dinner at the Stone Brewing Company, one of their locations, actually, at Liberty Station. And um, this was really the first brewery that kind of put beer on the map for me. Being from Michigan, the, you know, the craft beer scene here is really, really intense. But this place has got something special. And I love, and, and the thing that attracted me was the over-the-top nature of the brand and everything they do. And as I was drinking one of these beers the other night at dinner, um, it's a big one, actually. These uh, the arrogant bastards come in 22-ounce uh, bottles, so I was the only one I had. Um, I get to reading the label, and I've read this label 100 times before, and I've just always been struck by it, and I want to read it for you really quickly. Um, but right on the front of the label, right at the bottom, it says, You're not worthy. And I'm going to come back to that, but um, this is a beer that challenges you to drink it, and uh, this is what the back of the label says. This is an aggressive beer. You probably won't like it. It is quite doubtful that you have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality and depth. We would suggest that you stick to safer and more familiar territory, maybe something with a multi-million dollar ad campaign aimed at convincing you it's made in a little brewery or one that implies that their tasteless, fizzy, yellow beer will give you more sex appeal. Perhaps you think multi-million dollar ad campaigns make a beer taste better. Perhaps you're mouthing your words as you read this. At Arrogant Brewing, which is a subsidiary of Stone Brewing Company since this beer has been so popular, we believe that pandering to the lowest common denominator represents the height of tyranny, a virtual form of keeping the consumer barefoot and stupid. Brought forth on an unsuspecting public in 1997, Arrogant Bastard Ale openly challenged the tyrannical overlords who were brazenly attempting to keep Americans chained in the shackles of poor taste. Come on! Since the very beginning, Arrogant Bastard Ale has reveled in its unprecedented and uncompromising celebration of intensity. There have been many nods to Arrogant Bastard Ale, even outright attempts to copy it, but only one can ever embody the true nature of liquid arrogance. Seriously? Uh, One of the things I love about Stone is that almost all of their beer labels say something to that end, but this is a beer that literally dares you to drink it and tells you you probably won't like it. So how does that relate to selling? How many of you are so focused on your target audience, on the people you know you can help better than anything else because you know you're different in a way nobody else is, that you dare them to do business with you or go away? How many of you come out with a product that changes the marketplace, that literally stands the market on its ear, you charge double for it, dare people to walk away from you, and then build a raving fan base instead? How many of you have so much swagger that your marketing copy can look like that? That if you try as hard as you can multiple times to get your best message across and it's not received in the way you want it to, that you can look yourself in the mirror, put the phone down, walk out of the meeting, whatever it is, and say, you know what? That person probably wasn't worthy of doing business with me anyway, of being a customer of mine anyway, and move forward with that. March is prospecting month. You need an alarming amount of swagger in order to be a successful uh, prospector. You need an alarming amount of swagger to continue going, even when the going gets tough. To continue to press forward and further differentiate yourself to the point where your target market and the people you know you can help is so small that maybe you only need one or two in order to make a really, really good living. Can you help people? Can you be laser focused on those people? Can you find the 1,000 true fans? Maybe it's only the one or two. At scale, depends on, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into that. How many really, really perfect customers do you need in order to really make your number this year? Think about that. Be so specific. What's it done for Stone? 
Well, they're the ninth largest craft brewery by volume, I believe, uh, or by sales anyway, in the country. Uh, it depends on how you define craft breweries anymore because there's a lot of them that have been swept up and, and purchased by the larger behemoths because they know they're losing market share to breweries like Stone because of the impressions that breweries like Stone are making on the marketplace, on beer drinkers like me. So now they're bi-coastal. They've got large distribution centers on either side of the United States to satisfy that market. They've even opened an operation and production facility in Berlin. Think about that. Challenging conventions so harshly and then opening a facility right in the backyard of the motherland where all of this liquid arrogance, if you will, started. And they collaborate really well, actually. They don't just defy convention. They actually honor the tradition. And there's a lot to be said about that. And I can go on and on about Stone Brewing Company. Great food, great beer, great atmosphere, great message. But they dare to do things that most beer companies wouldn't do. And there are a legion of small companies like them that have followed in their wake. So I want you to think about what you could learn the next time you drink a beer. Hey, how about this? How about don't drink a beer that you can't learn something from? There's an idea. Maybe it'll get you to drink a few less of them, or maybe it'll make you smarter. I don't know. You take which side of the coin you want there. Anyway, thank you for being here with me. Thanks for spending just a few minutes with me talking about beer. That doesn't happen very often. If you like it, share it. Tell somebody about it. I dare you. Are you worthy of subscribing to this podcast? We'll be right back with you in a couple of days. And always remember, when you know your whys, your hows and your whats get much better. Mm-hmm.